What's up, turtles? Today we're going to be taking a look at a cook pot of mine that I've had for three years. And it is the MSR Stowaway 775 milliliter cook pot. Let's get right in it and start looking at the features uh, of this pot and the ones I like and maybe some things I don't like. So starting off, since the pot is closed, what's really nice is it has a locking lid. There's no rattle. This is, lid is as tight as you're ever going to get on a pot. And the reason why this is nice and a feature worth mentioning is because if you're carrying some of your cook supplies inside of this container, you're able to pack it tight, get the lid on nice and tight, and there's no rattle of the lid or potentially anything inside when you're hiking. So what keeps this lid tight is the locking handle. And you feel that pressure coming out, or maybe you probably heard it. There's a lot of pressure in that lash. We'll take a look at that again. But what's nice is this is the handle that keeps the lid tight. And you just line it up with the little, the little tab on top of the lid. Really simple. And another nice feature about this handle, besides it locking down the lid, is look at its length. I don't remember, I should have measured this for you, but um, probably five inches, five, six inches, which is nice so that when you have this over a heat source, this part of the handle really doesn't get too hot. And because this is a moving part, let's talk about it. You know, I think I've probably been using this pot for closer to four years than three, but three is a good number, so we'll leave it there. No problems with this latch at all. I mean, it's so simple. What is there really to fail on it? You know, not much, not much at all. Nice and tight. Let's just redo it again. You put that there. Watch this. There's a lot of noise coming off. There's a lot of pressure and tension under that. Like I said, almost four years, no issue. At this point, I wanna get a stove out, get a fire going, use the pot and continue talking about things I like. This is a stainless steel construction, meaning no problem putting it over an open flame or right on a campfire. I've done plenty of that as well. Got some dirt in here. And if you notice, the pot was so black, right? The pot's so black from the soot of being over an open fire. But there's no, there's no issue with that. You notice when I first took the pot out of the bag, this bag, I store the pot in the bag because I cook on these open flame type stoves a lot and it's it's a losing battle if you're going to try to clean your pot every t after every time that you cook on it on a fire. So the stainless steel is really nice because it has a slower heat transfer than aluminum and it cleans up really well. It's really durable material. So stainless is a huge plus in my book. One thing this pot could have that it doesn't, or there could be some graduation marks inside here, or it could be graduated on the inside, which will just have some ticks and potential numbers to show how much liquid is in the pot. Because it's such a small pot, 775 milliliters, which is a little bit more than a liter, once you eyeball it once or twice at home, measure out two cups of water, put it in there, four cups, eight cups, you can get a pretty good idea. So I think this pot has best of both worlds in terms of its lid. Before, when I showed you the folding handle locking on top of the pot, I liked that because it was able to lock the lid. But the fact now, I guess, it's a loose lid. That's what I'm trying to get at. So it's really easy, say you're cooking inside of here and you want to take it off to give it a stir, put it back on. There's no rustling around with the tight lid. So I like the fact that the lid's tight when it's being stored, but when you're cooking, nice and loose. One of the core design elements is the shape 
of this MSR stowaway pot. And the reason why I like this shape, meaning its height versus its width, that it's wider than it is tall. So it looks like a shallow pot. And what that does is creates more surface area to heat up the contents inside the pot faster than if you had a very tall pot sitting on the stove. It's just personal preference, but that's one of the reasons why I do like this pot. I was planning to maybe have some hemlock or pine needle tea today, but I have some peppermint floating around and I figured why not. I just saw that coffee is being consumed twice as much in the UK as tea. Hmm. Man, that's cold. <laughs> I didn't need to take this to a boil, but I'm just gonna take it off. If you remember when I was talking about the long handle in the beginning, keeping the handle out away from the heat source. There's no heat to this end of this handle at all right now. Bare hands, bam. Now there's one feature I wish that would be present somewhere on this pot. Do you see what I'm getting at? Or what's missing potentially for a pot that might handle liquids? There's no pour spout. It can be kind of a crapshoot sometimes pouring hot liquids out of this. <laughs> If you're interested in who made this Kukska, there will be a link in the description to the artist who made this, Cardal Rustic Works. I get a lot of questions every time it's on screen, so I thought I would just nip it in the bud. This pot, full price, is right around $18 US. And if you're looking for something made in the USA, you're gonna pay more than that, probably twice as much. But if that isn't a concern of yours, I highly recommend this cook pot. If you wanna use this pot just for yourself, perfect for that. You can stretch it if you're going to be cooking for two people, but for one person, stretching it to two, I think it's I think it really is almost the perfect pot. I'm going to let this cool down. Enjoy a nice little sipper of this cuppa. Till the next video. This is Crick with Black Outdoors. Peace out, turtles.